Hey everyone, welcome back with another video of Cypresses. In today's video, we are going to walk through partial building and advanced winter build management in Oru purchase module. So this is basically a snow thing for all who are handling with purchase module. So let me show you using a real time scenario where vendor sends partial deliveries and bills you in phases. So what we need to do? Yeah, we need to dive into the purchase module. So once we are ender, let's create a scenario. Okay. So yeah, let me say that you guys are running up an electronic store. Imagine that. Okay. And you guys are ordered 100 laptop from a vendor who's called as your interiors. And due to the stock limitation, they can only send you 50 laptop at the first. And you guys need to bill only for that part and later they ship and bill the remaining. So in Odoo, this is handled through partial receipt and partial vendor bits. So this is basically using to ensure your records and recordings are always accurate or not to ch check that particular thing. So, okay. so what we need to do? So let's create a request for quotation and let's consider who as your interiors. Let's add the product which is a laptop. And let's update the quantity as 100. And there you can see the unit price and tax and everything. So what we need to do, let's confirm the RFQ into a purchase. So let's confirm the order and it's converted to a purchase order, right? So now let's assume the vendor delivers only 50 laptop with the first. So what we need to do, we need to move to the receipt side and there you can see the receipt and what yeah, we need to click the transfer and manually edit the received quantity to the 50. So let's edit this to the 50 units. And once we have done with that, we need to validate. Okay. Now, Odoo automatically tracks the remaining 50 units as printing. As a result, there you can see a wizard. Odoo is asking for creating a backward. So this is basically... Uh, you have proceed less product than the initial demand, which means we have demanded 100 quantity and we only get 50 quantity, right? So here we have two options. We can easily create a back order uh, if we need the remaining products later or we cannot uh, create a back order if we are okay with this product. Okay, so let's create a back order. Once we have created a back order, there you can see the demand quantity and the quantity is updated into 50. Okay. So let's move back to the, yeah. I mean, purchase order and there you can see the option to create a bill for this 50 quantity because we have only received the 50 quantity and we have demanded 100 quantity, right? So uh, now we need to create a bill for this. So this is basically a partial bill. Okay. So let's confirm this bill. Okay. So let's give the bill date. So don't forget to give the bill date. And let's confirm this order. Once we have done with that, let's easily man manually create the payment also. Okay. And let's move back to the purchase order. And there you can see. One vendor bill is created because one this is one partial vendor bill. And there we can see two receipt, right? Because we are created a back order and let's move to the receipt side. And there you can see the I mean only one is done stage and next one is in ready stage. Okay, so the partial amount, like the 50 quantity, is ready. And let's move to there. And there you can see we can validate. So the demand quantity is 50 and the quantity is also 50. So let's validate this. Once we have validated, let's directly move to the purchase order. And there you can see an option to create bill for the partial quantity which is 50. Okay, so let's create a bill for that. Once we have done with that, okay, let's confirm the order. And this time also I've just forgot to give the bill D. Let's confirm this. After confirm, let's pay. And there you can see, we have already paid the two bills. Okay. So let's move to the purchase order. And there you can see, 
In this way, both inventory and accounting reflect the exact flow of goods and money. And this is how Odoo lets you track open amount, partially received orders and outstanding bills all in one place. So this is how manage partial deliveries and vendor billing like a pro using Odoo. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe for more real-time Odoo example. And thank you.